How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Yes, another upload tonight. You may have seen my upload a couple of, about an hour ago now that Toyota is returning to Forza Horizon 4. That is one of the main things that's happening recently in Forza Horizon 4. Toyota's coming back, but in, in the rest of this video I'm going to be explaining basically everything about update 16. There are four new cars coming, there's a couple of new kind of feature things which are coming as well, and that's all going to be covered in today's video as well information about Toyota returning as well. So first of all I'm going to go through all the new cars we're getting in this update and the new features and then and so on and so on. This update is going to go live in the next couple of days and it, the new cars are going to start from this Thursday. So let's start. The new festival playlist at 50% completion for the whole series you'll get a Lamborghini Aventador and at 80% completion the Ferrari 250 Testarossa. In the first week, which is summer, at 50% completion, you'll unlock the green morph suit. At 80% completion, the crown Victoria. And then there is the trial in summer, the first week, where you can unlock the Ferrari 488 Pista. 2019, highly requested car, that's the first new car of this month. Second week, which is autumn, at 50% completion, you'll unlock the Ferrari 512S, which is a new car you can see on screen. At 80% completion, the alien morph suit. The third week, which is winter, at 50% completion, you'll unlock the ATS GT 2018. This is another new car this month. And then at 80% completion, the McLaren 12C. Now the fourth week, which is spring, for 50% completion, you'll unlock the Lamborghini Diablo GTR, which is the fourth new car of this month. And then at 80%, the Lotus Elise. Now this is a new festival playlist. Those are all four of the new cars that are coming this month not including Toyota which was returning as well that's literally just been announced so we don't know any details on that just yet but I'm sure you'll find it somewhere now onto the new features now they've done something new called the Black Friday shop while they were doing the update live stream for every 15 minutes they gave us an exclusive cheap car on the Forzathon shop it won't be available now because it was only available for 15 minutes at a time at a very cheap discount um, they did a little kind of goofy skit thing. I'm going to leave this clip on screen right now of the, the, you know, the Black Friday thing that I'm on about. Uh, welcome back, welcome back. We're, uh, we're in Edinburgh, uh, about eight miles north of the Cotswold. Tommy's got another great car for you. Proper nice motor, practically giving them away. Uh, lovely, lovely. So this car used to be two and a half big ones in the shop, but now, thanks to Tommy Bargains, it's only... It is 100. Ports of one points. <laughs> Surely that's missing a zero. Uh... No, no, one, 100. So, these cost me 800 points each. Oh my. You've ruined me. This is done. It's over. Shut it down. Shut it down. As you can see, it's just a goofy thing for people who are watching the live stream to get some deals on. But they said that on the 28th of November, on Black Friday, for the next 48 hours from the 28th of November, every three hours within the 48 hours, there's going to be a super cheap discount on one car in the Forzathon shop to spend with Forzathon points. So that's a total of 16 discounted cars we'll get over the period of 48 hours starting on the 28th of November. So that's something cool to look forward to. And then other than that, there's loads of little random fixes and bugs such as the following. There's a new showcase remix called the Morning Rush, which is against the train in a taxi, I believe, a highly pimped up taxi. Online Adventure and Monthly Rivals has received some car restrictions. They have blacklisted some cars from being used. For example, the Bone Shaker was too abusive and is no longer usable in the Online Adventure or Monthly Rivals. You can use it in everything else, just not those. The Tractor, the Top Gear car, is no longer available in B-Class events in Online Adventure and Monthly Rivals and stuff like that. It was simply too abusive. They may blacklist more abusive cars in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. As for updates and fixes, they didn't actually give us a list of them, but there has been some of them. Some of them they've mentioned is the subtitle kind of format and look has been changed because apparently the subtitles were very weak in Forza. They've changed them up a bit to make them a bit more readable. 
and then the ability to quick select the manufacturer in the auction house has also been added as well that's a highly requested feature there's some other little ads and fixes as well but i don't know if they didn't have time to show us because of the whole toyota coming back thing but yeah that happened toyota is returning four new cars two ferraris a lambo and an ats a couple of new features this new black friday thing starting on friday the 28th of november it's looking good but leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.